Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll learn how to define the size of a flex item, and we'll also go for the difference between the property width and flex basis, which confused people a lot. Okay, to set the width of a specific item, okay, let's just go for a flex box item right here, and I set the width, for example, to let's just go for 100, let's just go for 200 pixels, okay. Now I have 200 pixels at each item. However, this width can also be used in another way by using the property flex basis. And what this flex basis do exactly is just set a specific size for the item before even giving it or before even putting it inside the container. And I will tell you the difference between the width and the flex basis. Okay, let's just set this flex basis to 150 pixels. Okay, if we take a look at the size set or the size used on the Flexbox item, you will see that we have 150 pixels instead of 200 pixels because we don't have to get them both at the same selection. So if you want to use the width, so if you want to just set the width, just stick to flex basis because the width property is used as a fallback. If we don't have this flex basis, it just uses it as a fallback and by default, we have this flex basis auto. Just avoid using them both because this width right here is considered as a fallback. Okay, let's just remove that. But the other interesting thing that you need to understand when you are using flex basis that you have an upper and lower that control this flex basis. So for example, if I set the min width to 120 pixels, okay? And I go for the max width and okay, let's just set it to 70 pixels, okay? And for the max width, I will go for 120, which is less than 150 pixels. So the problem here, if I check right here, so you will see that I have 120 pixels. I have the value of the max width instead of the flex basis. You have to be careful when you are setting these values. And even if I decrease the size of the viewport, you will see that here I have, if I go to the 70 pixels, okay, so the minimum width is set to 70 pixels. Now, the width used is the min width and the max width instead of the flex basis. Okay, avoid using all of them. Just if you want to set the width of a specific item, just use flex basis. Stick to flex basis instead of width or min width and max width. Now, once you are using flex basis, the width is set to 150 pixels as you see here. But once I go and I decrease the size, you will see something. I'm not defining any mid, min width or any max width, but the items are, are shrinking. Why they are shrinking? Because by default, if I'm using flex basis, by default, we have this flex shrink that you already see on the previous video set to one. To understand why the element shrink, so the first thing to do, let's just check the size of the Flexbox part. We have 510. 510 pixels is the size of the container. This container right here. Okay, let's just draw that, sorry. This container right here, it has 510 pixels. Okay, but the problem is, let's just check the size, the size of the items here is 123. So this is not the size we're interested with because we set the flex basis right here. We set the flex basis, just choose another color. We set this flex basis to 150 pixels, which means that we have here 150 times four and which is equal to 600 pixels. So this is the size of all of these items. So 600 pixels is the size of the flex items. It is larger than the size of the container 510. And this is why the elements shrink because the size of the items is more than the size of the container, but these items need to fit this container. 
Even if we set the flex basis to 150 pixels, so it can be used, this 150 pixels right here, it can be used if the flex container is larger than the flex items. And in this case, let's just check that again. Okay, let's just remove all of that. Let's just check flexbox parent. Flexbox parent, we have 723 pixels. And if we check for the, now the same number will be 600 pixels for the items. Now 723 for sure, if it's larger than 600 pixels and the element will not shrink. Okay, this, this flex base is 150 pixel will only be used if the container is larger than the, if the size of the container is larger than the size of the items or the total of the size of the items. Okay, what to take from this lesson is that you need to use flex basis in order to set the size of the item and avoid using width or height so to define the size of any flex item.